Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Obama pushes forward on transatlantic union 50 million euro funding for 5G research to drive leading edge mobile services EU cashback claim as Britain gets stung for £86 million. British EU referendum helps Scotland's bid for independence. Plus, Europe faces impossible political and economic challenges. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up, from our homepage, the pressure to forge ahead with the Transatlantic Union Trading Partnership is mounting. This article looks at announcements made in the name of global governance. It certainly looks like this story has got out of the starting blocks and is here for the long haul. Of course, we'll keep you posted with news as it develops. Just as you thought the kleptocrats had tired of thrashing the ECB charge card, it's back out of the wallet for another round of investment funding. 50 million euros for research and development of 5G wireless data network services. This article holds the key economic and technical details. Whilst Mr Cameron is busy giving the European Union the hard word about budget cuts, our crafty Euro kleptocrats are busy cooking up other routes to get their hands on UK taxpayers' cash. This article looks at the EU's latest whip-round effort. Apparently, farming practices have breached the common agricultural policy and thus the Eurocrats are imposing a cash penalty of £86 million. <clears throat> uh, who do we make the cheque payable to? Those who seek independence for Scotland are apparently somewhat appeased at Mr Cameron's announcement to hold a referendum in the UK. This article reports that pro-independence factions in Scotland are keen to break ties with the United Kingdom, but are committed to maintaining part of the European Union. Personally, this strikes my ears like trad jazz. It simply makes no sense at all. On the one hand, the pro-independence groups are spouting about being an independent nation and yet wish to remain a region of Europe, thus removing all of their independence. If anyone has any clue how this works, then I would love to hear it explained to me in a way that makes sense. Now here we have a brilliant article that demonstrates clearly the impossible conundrum that the European project faces. The economic situation across the board is critical. In fact, it's very tempting to describe it in terms of a collapse, and I wouldn't be surprised if that comes to pass in the next few months. The problem is one of blind ignorance and a refusal to accept the inevitable. This article discusses the impossible problem that Olli Rehn, the European economics chief, is facing. Today in our video library, Dr Eric Edmund returns with another insightful analysis of the social, political and economic situation in the EU. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>